Right, next thing we're going to do is add the agents prep. So I'm just going to grab that, drop it in, connect it up. So if you remember the agent prep in the other example um, is used to tell Houdini which parts of the rig constitute different parts of the body, right? So we're, for, for our example, we're interested in the legs, the lower limbs. So we need two of these, one for each leg. <clears throat> and we need to tell it which parts of the rig is the toe, the ankle, the knee, and the upper leg. These are the defaults, that's why we've got an error. We can't find them in the rig that we've got. These are from the these rigs, okay? So we need something for the toe, so let's have a look. If we go down, we can find left toe end we want. Okay, that's our toe, and you can see the guide there. Let's make it maybe we can make it bigger. There we go. And then we need an ankle. So I think ankle is left uh, foot, if I remember correctly. Left foot, there we go. Knee, so knee, we need, I think it's just left leg in this rig. Left leg, and then hips, I think is left up leg. Where is up leg? There we go. Okay, so we've got them all for, for the left. Now we just need to copy and paste to do these for the uh, for the right leg. Okay, so the toe first. Well, it doesn't matter which one you do first. Ankle. <clears throat> the knee. And the top of the leg. And we just need to change these to right. And then we should see the uh, the guides come in. I'm gonna go to change that to right. Copy and paste this in. Control V. <coughs> Excuse me. Control V. And Control V that. And there we go. Great. And then what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this over to the the other agents also. They're both the same rig, so you know the names are the same. I'm gonna press W and go back into my um, shaded view. And then I'm gonna find, we should really be using a, a T pose. We don't have one in our setup here, but that's okay. So I'm gonna find a point at which, I'm gonna turn off the clip locomotion as well. This is just for display purposes. So we turn this on in the, in the actual simulation, if you remember, just so I've got it in one spot, basically. And I want to find a point there where my foot is <clears throat> flat on the ground. Okay, and then if I go back into my wireframe node, you can see here the heel is not on the ground. So we need these points to be on the ground. I'll explain why in a moment. So you can just grab your um, uh, handle tool and then maybe I'll go into yeah this front mode, space three to do that. And then just bring this down to the ground plane. Okay, and maybe the front as well, just a little bit. Is that moving? It doesn't look like it's going. Stuck for some reason. Let's go out and come back in. There we go. Space three again. Great, and then the same with the other side. So I'm gonna go back into uh, my shaded view. <clears throat> and run this until that foot is flat. Something like that. Okay, back into wireframe, press W to go into that. Bring the heel down to the ground. And the toe just a little bit. Great. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same here. The with the woman rig. So let's see, that looks flat there. 
yeah so front press w it's going to my wireframe the toe looks okay grab the heel bring that down while you're doing this we should see yeah you see this offset coming in okay and then back into my shaded view and then bring the other foot down about there it should be flat space 3 w and grab the ankle bring that down great so that's fine like that go back into my space 1 to go back into perspective view and shade it back on okay so that's all done there so now go back into your agent prep go into additional channels here and I'll explain what we're doing here so we're as I said telling Houdini which part of the rig is is what okay and the reason that we're doing it is to enable foot locking so when our agents are running around when the foot is on the floor, we don't want it to be sliding or rotating or doing anything, right? When the foot is on the floor, I want it to be still. So we need to tell uh, the solver where, it, you know, which part of the rig is the foot. It's obvious to us just looking at it, but, you know, to the to the solver, the rig is, is just a bunch of transforms and, and uh, bones, right? So, um, yeah, we use a, a, a chop network to identify when the foot is on the floor. So that's either by distance to the ground or the actual speed of the of the foot. Okay, and this can be done automatically for us now, which is really handy. So if we come up here and just click this create foot plant chop network. Okay, and you see we get this chop network created for us. And then if we dive inside there, I'm just gonna go back to the first frame. You can see for every clip, I'm going to run the three different runs. We've got this foot plants node. Okay, and then if we go, let's see, into the motion effects view, we can see there the foot planting working. So when I can't remember which way around it is, I think when it's one, it's it means the foot is on the ground, and when it's zero, it's not. Okay, and you can control this with this speed threshold here, which is linked up to the outside. So let's just take a look at all of them. So that one you can see is not picking it up for this. Uh, let's see the others. That one's flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we might need to. Uh, let's see, raise this up a bit. There we go. I think I remember. So because we're... Let's see if I hide the others. So, and planted. Might even need to come up a bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do we have? Point th oh, we still got point 0.3 on that one, that's why. Tell you what, if we come out here, then we have uh, this speed threshold here. Which is already at 3, so they should be at 3 on the inside. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. And these also, yeah. Let's just take a look at that. There we go. There we go. Great. So the default is, I think the default works well when you're at the correct scale, which we're not at the moment. At the correct scale, yeah, there we go. So you can see that we've got values between zero and one. And I suppose, I can't remember which way it is, but I think zero means it's on the ground, yeah. And one is, it's not. Okay, so when when the value is zero, then the foot is uh, stays still, it doesn't, doesn't move. Great. Okay, these. Okay, and then we just do the same with the uh, with the f with the female agent. Okay, just come here to additional channels, create foot plan chop network, 
<clears throat> excuse me. And then I'll just change this up to speed threshold to three as well. This should be, you know, about the same for these also. And the, uh, the same for the ankle. Just double check all of these are the same. Are all set to three now. Great, and then just have a quick look at the at these ones. Put the visualizer there. There we go. There we go. Great. Okay, so that's all set up. Let me uh, maybe we can just have a quick look at this working. So we have this. Let me think what it's called. Agent terrain, I think. Terrain adapt adaptions. Okay, so we connect our agents in here. Okay, and then we need to connect a terrain, so we'll just drop a grid. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Shouldn't matter actually. And then if I move this, well, and let me see. I think if we change this to the up yeah there we go so now you can see when i move this the feet are planted to the ground and and the the leg kind of um, adjusts to the terrain right and i think even if i if i twist it as well you can see the foot rotating to adjust to the ground right so um yeah that's good for when you've got uneven terrain you know agents running over like rocky natural kind of environments it looks much more natural and as i said you can also add uh i don't know if i did say actually you can also add the torso and the upper limbs so the back and the arms so that when an agent is going uphill the they would you know people people typically lean forward when they're going uphill or lean back when they're going downhill you can also use this for um the upper limb, so that will include the head and the spine, to use the look at, right? Which I think I explained earlier. So if there's a something that you want the agents to look at, to focus on, then you can tell who do you need to turn the rig to compensate for that. No matter which way they are facing, if they're running away, they'll turn their head around, look at it, which can be really cool. Cool, okay.